Hello and welcome to another pop-up workshop brought to you by Popupology. In this um, tutorial, I'll be showing you how to fold the Lady of the Immaculate Conception card, which is a religious building in India, um, from my range of origami architecture cards that are available online. Um, this one is quite a tricky fold, so if you would like to um, try out some of my simpler designs, before progressing to uh, this level of complexity, it might help you just build your confidence. But once you have um, uh, some experience with the simpler designs, do try this because it's, it's a really beautiful kind of stepped variation and, and it's very rewarding once you, once you complete the, the actual fold in a crisp and um, beautiful way. So uh, do, um, do have a go once you feel ready. So as always, just download the template um, and um, cut it either by hand if you download the PDF which is printable or if you have a plotter you can directly send it to, to your plotter to cut and it just speeds up the process. So what you need to do is uh, once you've cut your template you should end up with something that resembles this. What you will need to do, is, as, as always, is to just establish a gentle crease on the baseline, as you can see here under my thumb. We're constantly just deploying everything using a combination of supporting fingers from the back and kind of pressing fingers from the front, using your, your, your entire hands like a mold, as it were. And just bear in mind that we need to be deploying all the areas in conjunction so do not overfold any particular area at one stage. Just always make un underdeveloped areas catch up with more developed areas. So what we do first is just, as you can see, just by just gently pressing from the back already, our first volumes start to emerge. And by just shifting the focus from the back to the second large tier, you do the same kind of um, pressing in increments and bring that plane forward slightly but as you can see just a very shallow degree of fold and then we move up to our our uppermost tier and deploy our our building section so the church just needs to be pushed from the back and as you can see it just pops out quite readily and again as you do that you can go back to the level underneath it and further deploy but it but just making sure it doesn't buckle anywhere so just take care of it and again move further down to the baseline until you get to about this general degree of shallow fold and now comes the tricky part which is the step sections that run up well, these two sides of our design um, but it gives a very intriguing and exciting kind of architectural element so we want to be kind of avoiding any buckling on these weak points which I've just indicated with my finger um, by just making sure that you're not taking your eye off those areas whilst you're deploying the center section which can easily happen so again just need to support the general shapes from the back with a digit um, along the lines of, of Val um, mountain folds that you can see here by just pinching it from the front and obviously by having that mold sort of negative positive mold arrangement it will want to come out but then you repeat the process by moving up a section and you do the same thing with the next layer of, of steps and it's not very dramatic but but it's very crucial that these areas are weakened somewhat before you attempt to collapse your piece. So we're just going up very gently and repeating the process again. Sometimes your eye loses sight of which areas should go in and out so just helps to sort of zoom out of your design as it were and then zoom back in again. But as you can see we are making very nice progress although not very dramatic but but it will just start to kind of emerge more and more as you go along. 
and progressively until you reach your sort of top level of steps. You want to just kind of again supporting the back plane, just pinch it forward both sides equally to an equal deployment. And now you can see that your shapes are, relatively speaking, starting to emerge, but you're still well short of a 90 degree fold stage. So you need to now just kind of pinch your planes and try and press them forward almost together because you've weakened these um, hinge points enough for your piece to start to sort of want to come forward as long as you apply the right kind of unified pressure across the plane. And as you can see, everything starts to really kind of come together and fold out um, without really dramatically kind of pushing anywhere. But you can help it on its way by again pinching these sections in particular. And if I just orientate it towards a, um, a side profile, you can see that I'm kind of using certain supports to help it come further and further forward. And at the last stage, you just need to make sure that you support the church building section from the back as well. And literally, by the time you get to about here, you can safely collapse your card. As you can see here, going gently as you do so. And all that remains at this stage is to just gently kind of press down on the back of the design along the crease lines to further accentuate those folds. And now when we open our card, we should get a very beautiful and crisp finish. And at this stage, you can uh, personalize your design, your card, um, by decorating it. Or um, if you wish, what you can do to eliminate this um, void left by our pop-up element is to use a different stock, a different colored paper, or as I prefer, use a transparency sheet, which gives you a really beautiful lighting effect. So if you secure your sheet to the back of your card, you get some really intriguing light and shadow plays, as you can see here. But if you choose to use a different color, you just get some very, very different results. So do try and um, experiment with different stocks by all means and if you want to share your results you can do so on my Facebook page by posting images of your personalized designs. So hopefully you have fun with this project and do check out all of my other pop-up projects available online. Um, so thanks for watching and see you again soon.